This is Valerie Getch with a tutorial exploring Lightroom's workspace in the Library Module. You'll probably be spending a good part of your time here in the Library Module. This is where you will be importing, categorizing, and sorting your images. So understanding the workspace and learning how to become more efficient will help improve your workflow. Let's take a tour. Here we are in Lightroom's Library Module in the Grid Mode. And I'm going to take you on a little tour, starting with the upper left-hand corner of the screen. And up here you will see the Windows menu. And if for some reason this doesn't show, just hit the Shift and the F key to get it to reveal. And over here on the right, this is your Task menu. And you'll see the various modules. And this will take you from module to module, starting from here in the Library to Develop, Map, book, slideshow, print, and web. And if for some reason you prefer to not have all of these showing, just right click in this area and then you can deselect any of the ones that you don't want to appear. And next I want to show you right here this center section. This is the preview area and this is your main work area and it shows the thumbnails of whatever images you have open in a particular folder or collection that you have selected. And you will note that under collections I have tutorial selected and those are the images that appear here. So you'll see that there are panels on the left and the right. These are called panel groups and you access these panels by clicking the little arrows to open them and close them. And if for some reason you're not working with these and you want them out of your way to make some more room, you just hit this little arrow here on the left and that will get rid of the left hand panel. Click it again to bring it back and you can do the same thing on the right. And if you want to get rid of both panels, just hit the tab key and there they're gone. And then hit it again to bring them back. Next, I want to show you the Library Filter, which is a powerful feature in Lightroom. This enables you to sort your images on endless criteria um, by text, such as keywords, by attributes, such as whether you have an image flagged, and this is a flag, this, these indicate that these images are flagged, um, by color, color label, such as these that are um, purple labeled, uh, you can also sort by uh, many different metadata, and metadata, you may recall, is data that's in either embedded or linked to your images, and it could include things like ISO, uh, shutter speed, your camera model, uh, the date you took the picture, the file name, uh, any number of data. So right now I have mine set to none, so all of my thumbnails appear. Sometimes this toolbar will disappear on you, so if you're not seeing it, simple to get it back. Just hit the backslash key. And I'm going to hit that now, and you'll see that it disappears. I'm just going to hit it again, and there you have it back. So now below this preview area is the toolbar. And the toolbar is also something that sometimes disappears, so if you don't see it, hit the T key on your keyboard and then I'm pressing it again to make it reappear. Over here on the right of the on the toolbar, there is a thumbnail slider that you can use to make your thumbnails larger or smaller. And over here on the left, uh, you have you can click on these to view your images in various modes. We're in the grid mode right now. You can also lose, use the loop view to view one image at a time in a larger view or the compare view to compare two images, or the survey view to compare several images at a time. This, I'm not going to go into detail right now, but this you can is a painter that you can use to paint attributes on a group of images. So say you all want to add, you want to add the same keyword to a bunch of them, you can use that. Uh, you can also sort your images by capture time, by rating, by file name, etc. And then right here, you can add flags to your images, uh, flag them as pics. Say, for example, I want to pick this image. I'll click on it to select it. And then I can add a flag, flag it as a pic. And now you see that it's flagged. 
And I can also add star ratings to it here. Uh, let's say I want to change this rating to a 4. There, now it says 4. And if I want to add a purple label to it, color label, I can set the label to purple. And you'll see that you just have a thin color border when the image is selected. And that's to distinguish and let you know that this is a selected image. So when I deselect that image, and I'm going to deselect all by hitting Control D, now it just returns to the solid purple like the others. Below the toolbar here is the breadcrumb bar. And on the far left, you can use these two, number one and number two, con to control a second monitor if you have one. And I, this is just to indicate library grid view to get back, another way of getting back to grid view. I'm telling you, Lightroom offers you lots of opportunities to get to the same thing. Um, right here, I wanted to show you quickly. This is gives you a little um, information on where you got your images. It gives you the source. So once again, you can see that this is um, these images are the collection tutorial. There are eight images in it. And by clicking this down arrow, I can see that I, I can look at recent sources that I've used. Over here on the right, uh, Lightroom also gives you another opportunity to sort or filter your images by flag, by um, star rating, by color, and some other and some other criteria that you can set here. And so right now I have it set to filters off. Now down below at the bottom here, this is the film strip. And you can, I want to show you a little trick here because sometimes it comes in handy. You want to see your film strip larger and just drag it up. Drag it down to make it smaller. And the film strip is just basically a linear view of the same image as you have at the top here in your preview. So when you click on an image in your film strip, that image is selected here in the thumbnail. So there again, you can see the images have been selected. Now you probably won't use the film strip a whole lot when you are in the grid mode, but you may find it handy if you're in the loop mode, which I'm going to switch over to quickly. Um, this is the loop mode because it gives you an opportunity to quickly scan through your images like so. And then let's go back to grid mode. I can do that either by clicking here to get back to grid view or I could use the G shortcut. The other time that you would probably want to use the film strip is when you're in develop mode and that would work similarly to when you're in the loop mode because in develop mode you're looking at one image at a time and then you can quickly um, click over to the next image. So that's a quick little view of the various parts of your screen. Now I want to show you a few little tips and tricks to make things easier for you to work with this. One of my favorite tricks is with the side panels. Now I'm going to select an image and I want to show you something here. I'm going to click on develop, quick develop. And then I'm going to click on keywording. And you see that the develop panel is still open as well as the keywording panel. And then I'm going to click on metadata. Okay, and then now I've got metadata open and I've got keywording and I've still got the develop panel open. That's kind of cluttered. I don't know about you, but that's just kind of, it gets annoying. So rather than having to manually close each of these one at a time, here's a handy little trick. Just right click in this space here and then use click on solo mode. Now watch what happens. I have my image selected and I'm going to click on quick develop and then I'm going to click, click on keywording. Okay, did you see that? The quick develop panel closed. Now I'm going to click on metadata and the keyword list closed. So this, what happens is that when you click on a panel, the previous one closes so you only have the most current one open. So it's just a little tidier and easier to work with. 
So I wanted to show you a couple of other tricks. I already showed you how you can close these side panels. Well, you can do the same thing with the top and the bottom panels. So if you don't want to see this area here, just click on this up arrow to hide it and click on it again to bring it back. And the same thing to get rid of the film strip and to bring it back. Now if you want to get rid of all of these extra panels and just view your thumbnails alone, just hit Shift Tab and this gives you a nice clean screen. But I want to show you something kind of interesting. Remember how we got rid of all of those panels that were kind of in our way? Well when you accidentally scroll with your um, cursor over here they reappear. So the way to get rid of that is to click on the little arrow with the right click and you see it's set to auto hide and show. We're going to get rid of that and switch it over to manual. And then watch when I get rid of it now when I close that. Then I can put my cursor over here and it won't reappear. You just need to remember to do that to all of your panels and like so and I'm going to right click switch it to manual and rehide one more and there we go and then get back to get back to normal screen view then just click shift tab again and you're back in the normal view with your panels this has been a brief overview of the library module. In another tutorial, I'll show you in depth the various ways you can view your images in the library. You'll find that Lightroom gives you lots of options. So if you found this tutorial helpful, I'd appreciate it if you would hit the like and the subscribe buttons below. Thanks a lot, and see you next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Lightroom tutorial. Stay tuned for more tips and tutorials as we work our way through the Lightroom workflow. And be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss anything. In the meantime, go out and have fun with your camera, and I'll see you back here soon.